Okay, another Ask Shauna question. It's getting dark now. <laughs> um, this question is from Margarita. And she, uh, she saw the free jumping with uh, Stormy. I posted some pictures there. So this was in the comments. And she said, any tips for helping a horse over their fear of barrels? Now, I'm not sure if your horse is afraid of jumping barrels or just afraid of barrels. <laughs> because they are kind of different um, things. But really, they are basic desensitization to, um, to different objects. So if it's a fear of jumping barrels, I would start like I did with Stormy and doing the free jumping. I start by doing A to Bs, which means going from point A to point B. Basically, it's person to person, so it's two people. I teach them to go from one to the other. When they're getting it at a distance, and we'll reliably leave and go to the other and leave and go to the other and stay with that person, and they've got it at a distance, I start putting a little jump in between, and I click as they go over the jump. I want to draw attention to that action of stepping over the pole. And it's not even a jump at first. I really should correct that. It's a ground pole. <laughs> and I click when they go over the ground pole, and pretty quickly they start learning, hey, when I cross this thing, I get reinforced. Pretty soon I move it up to a little jump, and then a little bigger jump, and then a little oxer. And then you can start putting, I would start putting something, not necessarily a barrel in between there right yet, but putting something, even if just a rolled up blanket or something, in that little tiny jump or just even around the ground poles. So then they get kind of used to jumping an object. As you start building up their association with jumping, they will enjoy the jumping, they build confidence. It's amazing the confidence that comes out of them when you start using the positive reinforcement. The next thing you know, you, uh, they, they're looking forward to jumping. They want to do it. And then as you put, start putting things in there, as you build it up and they're jumping things that might be a little bit more fearful, build it up to maybe you know five gallon buckets and then up to barrels. But pretty soon they're gonna start facing their own fears because there's something in it for them. They become as invested in the training process as we do. And it's really amazing thing to watch. I give them every choice. I say, you can go around, you can do whatever you want. I just won't reinforce you for that. And you see they correct themselves and sort it out and face their fears and, and make the choice to go over it. So that's how I do it if it's um, a fear of jumping the barrels. But in the meantime, or if this is a separate thing, it's just fear of barrels, I would start by working exercises. And I have some despooking exercises. If you go to despookingyourhorse.com, um, that's all one word, www.despookingyourhorse.com. I have a couple despooking exercises on there that I do. It's just a, it was a promo for, I have a big a six part series um, a DVD of despooking your horse. It really kind of goes into more detail, but that'll give you a little taste of some of the despooking things you can do. So you just want to start, um, I'm doing it with some milk jubs on, with the horse, but you could do it just by walking and buy milk, buy the barrels. You want to start where he's going to be best and he's not going to be worried. Reinforce each time he's nearest or approaching and then make that circle closer and closer and closer till he's right next to the barrels. And you're going to find that pretty soon he's going to learn barrels are good, strange things are good, new things are good. So you're going to re rebalance that, uh, that reinforcement history. You know, right now he thinks they're horrible and pretty soon he's going to think they're pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, so go there and I think that'll give you a little bit more um, a little bit more ideas of what to do, or because this was a big general question, if you have more specifics, I'll be happy to answer them specifically. So just uh, send it in to www.askshauna.com. Anyway, until next time, Margarita, you enjoy getting your horse on target. Bye.